Hello and welcome to the video. On this one I'm going to be discussing a little more detail about the types of chiropractic techniques I use. Um, I run everything from what would be considered low force on up to the more traditional uh, you know, thrust with the hands where there's pops and cracks and that kind of thing. And as far as the low force techniques I use, um, I actually have two different ones I use on a regular basis. Uh, one of them is the Pro Adjuster and I actually have a separate video on how that works. Um, the other one that I use is this instrument right here called the Arthur Stim. And in, at least in terms of treatment function, the Arthur Stim and the Pro Adjuster are somewhat similar. They're both using a series of taps to move the joints. And the main difference, I guess, would be in the fact that the Pro Adjuster actually has a, a computerized diagnostic function on it as well as a treatment function. Um, Whereas, although this doesn't have the computer diagnostic function, it allows for a little bit more uh, versatility in terms of the angles you use. It allows me to adjust extremities a little bit easier than I could with the, the Pro Adjuster. And you can, the uh, Pro Adjuster uses the, the um, kind of a seated position for adjusting, as you'll see in, in the Pro Adjuster video if you watch that. Whereas, you know, this one can be used pretty much in any position fairly easily because it's got a nice flexible cord, which the Pro Adjuster does not. It's, it's a pretty rigid cord. So both of those can be used for low force adjusting and both of those are, are things I use uh, with what I call the two Fs, um, the fragile and the fearful. And I also use it on people where they're not fragile or feel fearful on things where it's just a more comfortable adjustment. Like um, I'll use the Arthur Stem on things like the shoulder a lot of the time. Whereas, I, although I use manual adjustments of the shoulder, the Arthur stem's a lot more comfortable, so if I can get the job done that way, I'll definitely use it. Um, so, like I said, fragile and are fearful for the low force stuff, um, and you, know, you can use this even on people with fairly severe osteoporosis, you're not gonna cause a problem with it. Um, whereas you have to be very, very careful with manual adjusting if you're gonna do it on somebody who has any kind of um, metabolic bone weakness or, or uh, you know, instability and that sort of thing that has to be treated much more carefully. As far as manual adjusting, adjusting techniques go, I have a couple of different ways that I do that. Um, there's kind of just the, the plain old, you know, thrust with the hands and arms. Um, you know, you put the person in a certain position, you kind of stretch things a little bit, and then it'll become a quick thrust. And there's a pop or a crack that comes out of the joint and you know it's it's not all as dramatic as it sounds usually uh, sound is the thing that bothers people more than the actual sensation although if you're already sensitive already in a lot of pain then the adjustment can be a little uncomfortable for sure um, i try to do the best i can to make things comfortable um, if somebody is really tight and sore I'll a lot of times start with the instrument adjusting first kind of get things softened up and, and relaxed a little bit before moving into anything you know, more forceful than the, than the adjusting, adjusting instrument. Now, as far as, like I said, there's some other things I do in terms of manual adjusting. Uh, one of the things I do is I'll use the drop table, uh, drop pieces on the table, and I'll give you a little demonstration of that. So this is a drop table, um, and there are what are called drops installed on the headpiece, the thoracic support, the lumbar support, and the pelvic support. And you can see these levers on here. And what you do with the drop table is, you see I lifted up that thing and it kind of held there as I lifted it up. Well, when I've got a patient on the table, I can then do a thrust using that drop. And it gives a little bump from gravity at the end so that I don't have to thrust as hard. And it generally makes for a more comfortable adjustment for people. So that's the drop piece adjusting. All right, so that pretty much covers the, the basics of the adjusting techniques I use. Um, I'll have a link to the Pro Adjuster video down below that I made many years ago. Um, you'll see that I'm quite a bit younger in that video than I am now, um, but I'm still basically using the Pro Adjuster the same way. And, you know, it was a pretty good overview, I thought. So it was more about seeing how the Pro Adjuster worked and not about me. Um, the screen that uh, my current Pro Adjuster has is a little different than the one in the video, but 
same basic idea. So that covers it for this one. Thank you for watching. And uh, if you have questions about the soft tissue techniques I use, that will be on another video that I'll be putting up real soon.